Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Gaming Ninja 1184 I know it's been a good while since I posted anything. So check this out. I actually have a hack for you guys today. Um, I ended up moving out to the country and I ran into a problem. The problem was with the internet. It was showing on my Xbox for the NAT type. It said double NAT detected. UP un UPNP unavailable. Basically, that means, you know, you can't connect uh, as far as like multiplayer, you can't join parties, you know, no chats, uh, you know, all the good fun stuff basically is unavailable. The performance is not exactly the best. So I ended up doing some research and I found a way to actually fix that problem. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to have your Xbox powered on. Make sure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi. You're going to go to your settings. Open up your network settings. And then you can see right there. The NAT type is moderate. Double NAT detected. All services are available. However, we already know that all the services that we want are not available. So, you're going to go ahead and go offline, back out of the network settings, go to devices and connections, go to Blu-ray, where it says persistent storage, click it, then clear persistent storage. Do that twice at least. Now you're going to restart your console. Restart. Restart. It's going to shut down. It's going to restart, refresh everything. And when it starts back up, you should still be offline. I really do apologize about the glare, everybody. Okay, it's refreshing. Okay, your Xbox is powered back on. So, make sure you turn your controller back on because you can't do anything without that. Go back to your network settings. Now you go back online. Most likely it's gonna say the same thing. Okay, NAT type is moderate, and double NAT detected. So now, here comes the part where we're gonna get rid of that. Go to advanced settings and open up alternate port selection. How it says automatic, you don't click on that. Go to manual. Select port and then you're going to go to the exact next one underneath the one that you're already on. Click on that and then you go to continue so that way it locks it in. Go back to your network settings page. Okay, that's fine. It says the same thing. So you're going to do it again, and you're going to keep on doing it until you get rid of that double net, and it's going to say open. Might take one try, might take a few tries. And there you have it, guys. It took me two tries, but it actually worked. And that's how you do it. Okay, my fellow viewers. That's all I have for today's hack. I want to thank you for taking the time to check out this video. I hope that all the tips that I gave you really helped. I know that I've been doing this for me the, the past month, but it's been working for me each and every time, I can assure you. I'm not positive if it works for PlayStation or PC. If y'all happen to know if it does or not, please drop a comment in the comment section. 
Also, if there's any other issue not related to this video, like a hack or a question that you guys got, feel free to ask. If I know the answer, I'll make a video out of it. If I don't know the answer, I'll do some research and still try to make a video out of it. I'm going to be actually trying to put out some more footage, uh, more, uh, more frequently actually. So don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos and hacks. Stay gaming, my ninjas.